Hey guys, what is going on? This is Sam. In today's video, we are taking a look at iOS 7.1.1, which Apple released to all devices capable of running iOS 7 earlier today at the time of creating this video. So let's get started by taking a look at Apple's official changelog. It says as follows. This update contains improvements, bug fixes, and security updates, including further improvements to Touch ID fingerprint recognition, fixes a bug that could impact keyboard responsiveness, fixes an issue when using Bluetooth keyboards with voiceover enabled. And then below it says, for information on the security content of this update, please visit this website. And then it has a link to Apple's official security update website, which I will have linked down in the description below for those of you who are interested. And also a blog post talking a little bit more about iOS 7.1.1. But there is actually another feature found in iOS 7.1.1 that really isn't all that apparent at first. It has to do with browsing throughout the App Store and it's very easy to see in the Top Charts Free section. Taking a look at all the top free apps, many of them offer in-app purchases and it now says that directly under the Purchase button. Now since we are in the Free section, of course all these apps will be free, but as you can see right under there it says In-App Purchases. Apple is making it extremely clear now what apps do and what apps don't offer in-app purchases in this latest update. So now that we've covered the official change log, let's talk about whether or not you should update and you will find yourself hopefully falling into one of three categories. Number one, you have no idea what jailbreaking is. You've never heard of it. You don't want to get involved with it. Even though jailbreaking is amazing, I would definitely recommend trying it out at some point in the future, but that's a video for another day. Anyway, you don't know what jailbreaking is or you're not involved with it in any way, shape or form. Go ahead and update to iOS 7.1.1 immediately via the settings app or iTunes. I would definitely recommend doing so because it always, it, it, if I could talk, it is always good to have your iOS device on the latest firmware. Next category, you are on iOS 7.1. By mistake, you accidentally updated for some reason, but you really want your jailbreak back. You do not, I repeat, if you want that jailbreak on iOS 7.1, you do not want to update to iOS 7.1.1 at this point in time because Muscle Nerd, one of the evaders, one of the makers behind the official Evasion 7 untethered iOS 7 jailbreak tweeted out this today. 84% of the fixes in today's 7.1.1 were not Apple. 16 of the 19 were WebKit. Then he has a link. Jailbreakers stay away from it though. So this is Muscle Nerd, one of the official evaders, like I said, one of the official makers of the Evasion 7 iOS 7 untethered jailbreak, telling us do not update. He is warning us. If you want an iOS 7.1 jailbreak or if there is going to be an iOS 7.1 jailbreak, you don't want to update to iOS 7.1.1 just yet. And finally, if you're like me, I have an iPhone 5S that is jailbroken. This is the third category, by the way. It's jailbroken on iOS 7.0.6. So iOS 7.1.1 adds no substantial upgrades that would even make me remotely unjailbreak my phone. So to sum up my advice in a nutshell for scenario number three, if you're currently jailbroken, I would recommend staying that way. That's what I'm going to be doing on my iPhone 5S and iPad Air. If you guys did enjoy watching the video, as always, feel free to click the like button down below. And if you want to see future coverage on every single iOS update that Apple pushes out, make sure to subscribe to my channel down below so you don't miss out on any great future coverage when there could be an update available for your iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch. Thanks a lot for watching my video. I really hope you did enjoy it, and I will see you guys in the next one.